thing we were talking about antifreeze condition and strength. You must realize that antifreeze not only raises the boiling point of your fluid, it also prevents it from freezing as well. In Canada, we need our antifreeze to be tested for at least minus 37. This type of tester right here is your easiest one to buy and read. It's got the gauge on the side. It tells you how strong it is. This one, I prefer. It is a refractometer. You put some antifreeze on it, you look through the lens, and it tells you your exact strength. There's no messing around. But the first thing we gotta do to check the coolant is to remove your rad cap. Now you wanna make sure your engine is cold because removing the rad cap with a hot engine is under pressure and you may burn yourself. Let's grab this antifreeze tester right here. You notice the bulb on the top. Once you put it inside the radiator, squeeze the bulb and then gently release it so it sucks up fluid. You want to try to get as much fluid in it as you possibly can, then hold it up level and check and see where it's at. Right now, I'm at about minus 37, which for Canada, that is perfect. The activator works by, sucks them up in here. Just put enough on the glass. Close the little meter. Don't I'm gonna be able to see. Even though you can't see, the refractometer was tested for over minus 40. I personally would change my antifreeze every two to three years. It's also good to check at the condition of your coolant. This is still nice and green. If it starts turning a rust color or another color, I would recommend changing it. Antifreeze does come in different colors like blue, pink, orange, so be aware of that. But my coolant is tested good for the Canadian winter and the color is still good so I don't have to worry about it. It's very important to monitor your coolant if you have an aluminum engine or aluminum parts because the aluminum reacts with some of the antifreeze over time and causes it to become acidic which could eat away at the aluminum so that's why another reason why I recommend changing your coolant every two to three years maybe even four. Anyways I'm gonna get going if you have any questions or comments post them below Otherwise, thanks for watching.